so I will not show my face for this video since there's a lot of uh, information going on. Today I will show you the way I do my chapters, so please keep in mind that I can still improve. These are my ways to do things, so please don't criticize it if it doesn't fit your standards, okay? Because I actually just don't care about your standards, <laughs> so don't waste your time doing it. Of course, if you have um, other ways, advices, tips, etc., you can totally share it in the comments. Um, the more people we share tips, the more people can bring beautiful weapons, so yeah. Uh, feel free to do it. Again, this is my way to do it. This is absolutely not a tutorial, okay? Uh, this might be a bit different uh, process from yours that I'd like to share. Okay, so it's just that, nothing more. So today we're gonna work on my chapter 4 uh, from my webtoon The Wonder Witch. If you're curious, you can check it out on Tapas, Webtoon Canvas US and Webtoon Confess. Canvas, sorry, <laughs> friends. Um, and if you already knew the webtoon, you can still have access to one of the chapters in advance on Patreon. So do not hesitate to give me support. <laughs> Let's start with setting up your webtoon project. Uh, so I'm actually using Clipstia Paint, so uh, yeah, just use the same. You actually just have to uh, go on File and then New, select webtoon and that's it you have your webtoon project okay so you just have to follow the instructions okay give a name to the project also i do not recommend to use a 800 wide pixels project but actually a 1600 pixels wide um, because like that you will avoid pixelated drawings and you will be able to resize your panels if necessary. Uh, you can also choose the number of pages you need so this is what you will end up with, like a file with um, a lot of pages you can scroll through. So I usually go with 9 as you can see. For me like 30 panels takes me 8 or 9 pages if the panels are really long, but most of the time it's more like 6 or 7. Here goes the storyboard, okay, I uh, actually don't really know what I'm doing, I'm sorry, but I will still let you with a bit of um, speed drawing, I guess, to show you how I managed to do it, uh, it's not really special. When you double click on the page, you can open it, and so you can drag the page to the right or the left, like as you want. You can open your page on one side to draw on it, and on the other side, you can have your whole project. So it's really, really useful to do it this way. I really recommend it. Also, as you can see, I don't really use colors or else. I mean, I, here I did use like red to put some notes, but to be honest, I'm too bored, like, you know, making the backgrounds in blue and the curtains in pink to you know see a bit better so yeah i'm just doing the drawings all black <laughs> to finish with the storyboard um i actually setting up characters in the background by drawing like some table and some chairs but i will not draw the backgrounds completely you will see it later i actually just have to know where the characters are standing Okay, so let's go to the next step. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, making my sketch blue. So this is really simple, okay? You just have to uh, click on the sketch color right here and you just click on it and you can choose the color. It's blue at first and I'm just letting it in blue. It's pretty nice to draw on it. And I'm just lower the opacity of my sketch layer. And that's it. This is all I do for the sketch. So here, as you can see, I'm just managing the space for my sketch. For example, here I knew that I needed a space uh, before the actual chapter to put my Patreon message at first. So yeah, here I decided to make two pages instead of one. Cropping your pages is actually really easy you click on edit and change the canvas size and change the numbers at the top or just drag the page um, directly 
Okay, here are girls the backgrounds. So I'm actually making backgrounds on Snaptoon, okay? Uh, if you want more information about this software, please uh, go and check out my uh, YouTube video that I made on it. I will, after this video, make a new one about the update because the software has been updated. So please just take a look. This software is actually amazing. So I will just let you with the screen and you can see how it goes. Again, in the next video, I will make a tutorial on how to use it, but yeah, I just like, you know, put my lights and I'm just taking kind of screenshots with the Snapchat camera. And this is all you have to do for your backgrounds. So now that I have my backgrounds, uh, I'm actually just making my Patreon message and then manage to uh, start my panels to put my backgrounds in it. And I start off with some blue bases because like this I will put my backgrounds in it by using a mask. You will see it later. But yeah, I prefer to fill my panels already. Like this I will be able to see a bit easier where my backgrounds will be. And here, as you can see, I'm just making the sky. So basically, I'm just taking some uh, Clip Studio assets, okay, that I found on Clip Studio assets. <laughs> so yeah, just feel free to use it. This is really useful. So it's a free tool. So just use it, okay? Here is a like a transition panel, like you know, not a real panel, but like the panel that is setting up the mood. So yeah, just really recommend doing this because first it's fun and also it's pretty. What I do recommend to do sometimes is also panels with a gradient uh, backgrounds like this. It kind of gives some effects. <laughs> so you just put a gradient, the backgrounds will be in gradient too. And when you have all your bases, you can just take your backgrounds, uh, please don't do like me, uh, now I'm actually put numbers of my backgrounds because I had struggles to find them. And so once you have them, you just take them and put them on your bases with a mask. Your backgrounds will not go out of the bases. So that's it, that's all you have to do and you have backgrounds, yay! The tip number one for line work is do not take the same time for every panel. What I mean by that is that first, of course, there is not like always one character in a panel. So obviously when there is more than one character, you will take more time to do one. But it's not what I'm talking about. Actually, there is different types of panels. And for example, here um, it's like a silhouette panel. So okay, the characters are tiny. I did this line work like in two minutes, something like that. It's not important and people will not stop on it. So I decided to kind of rush it. Not really rushing it, but you know, it doesn't need to be pretty. This type of panel is actually just here to set up the mood, set up the, the atmosphere, set up the characters, okay, in the background. You don't need it to be pretty. I will not take as much time as I take for money shots panel. So here are the different panels that I actually make. You can have different ones of course, but people actually don't care. I promise they don't. Most of the readers will not stop on panels like that. They will only stop on money shots or important ones. Um, you know, the ones with an important message or an important emotion. So I promise, okay, you can rush some of your panels. So please just do it. <laughs> not every panel is all the same. So yeah, that's my tip number one. And I promise it's a time saver because actually when you make a webtoon, you want to be fast. Okay. You want to be productive. You don't want to waste your time on a tiny panel that people will not see or will not watch closely. Okay. Don't do it.
Okay, now let's prepare our base for the flat colors. So I'm actually just taking a gray color and I'm using... <laughs> you, you are probably already using it, but I'm still gonna give you that again. So this tool is actually the best tool ever. As you can see, it allows you to kind of select areas and fill it. I really recommend to make a base like this because it avoids white dots. You know the white dots you can have on your flat colors? So like this you have a flat base like I made for backgrounds before. Thanks to this base, you will be able to make your flats easier and also they will not go out from it. But the great thing with this base is that when you finish your flats that you will put with a mask you can actually just color the gray base all black and like this any white dot will be seen under your flats I absolutely hate this one but no um, I actually love something about flats is um, it's making skin so I will show you how I make my flats for skin because I put blush on characters I do a romance guide so of course I'm putting some blush first I'm gonna make my flat for the skin and just taking the blush color make gradient also a tiny blush on the nose I'm just just blowing it a bit just making the lips like this again blowing the under lip and to finish with a little sparkle <laughs> I'm just taking the skin base color and just you know making a tiny dot on the nose and some crutches on the lips and ta-da you have your base for skin so that's how I do my skins so this one is pretty easy you just have to choose gels and put them on your characters okay <laughs> as i do right here if you want brushes you can get it on acon or clip studio assets there is some on the assets also so what i do after putting my jewels on characters i just duplicate the jewels layer merge the first layer like the original jewels layer with the flat layer and the second jewel layer that i just created i just make it all white make a black outline merge this white jewel layer with the line work layer and then click on converse luminance to opacity like this you will have your jewels on the flat layer and the outline of it will be a part of the line work like this it will not be weird when you are coloring it I know I have a lot of tips, but this one I promise will change the way you're making your webtoons. I don't know if you all are doing like this or not, but a lot of my friends are not doing it and just guys, I recommend doing it this way. You just basically, as I said before, make your gray flat base all black first and then you merge all the flat colors together in one and only one layer and ta-da, that's all you have to do. And instead Instead of making shadows for each color separately, you are just making shadows for the whole set in once. So all the parts, skins, hair, outfit, and I swear you will gain time. It's just um kind of habits to have, but I promise it's really faster this way. Back in time I was making all my shadows for the skin and then for the hair, but it took me so much time and now it's just easy and fast. So yeah, I have nothing else to say say about coloring you just have to like choose your colors choose your type of layers you know if you want to be like overlay or shine etc i do not have like preferences i just do it regarding of the background and the time of the day so but i do have a palette i do have codes for each background and these codes are also in my snaptoon scenes because in snaptoon you can save the scene you know the lights placement so i do have codes to know which backgrounds go with each palette as you can see i also put less efforts on the coloring for the older panels if it's not money shot i just do it a bit less detail uh but still pretty you know like this just some scratches and ta-da <laughs> you have your panels colored so yeah again just don't push yourself too much for tiny panels they don't deserve it <laughs> 
I also put some shadows under the characters like just you know something quick not something really really well done it's just like for the characters not to stand in the void and to finish I'm just adding some lights to the background also some dust I, I kind of like to add dust to backgrounds because it's you know it gives something <laughs> I kind of like sparkles okay so yeah I just like to put dust uh, kind of everywhere also I do recommend to put this kind of lights over the line work without a clipping mask you know over everything like the backgrounds the flat colors and the line work it gives something more for this step, I don't have any special things to say. I sometimes put bubbles behind characters just to give some effects, but that's it. For you to know if your chapter will be readable, <laughs> like you know the rhythm of your chapter will be good, you just have to click on view and then webtoon view. Like this you will be able to see how your chapter will be on the film. For the onomatopoeias, I just do it sometimes by hand when they are not too strong or you just take the text tool and just do it this way by transforming the text later with the transformation tool but I know that some people are actually making their onomatopoeias file with some onomatopoeias that they can use I don't do it because first I'm bored <laughs> and second I just like not to have too much same things in my chapters I already have a lot of sparkles and flowers so I don't want to you know make too much same things <laughs> So before finishing this chapter, I wanted to show you some special panel. Uh, you know, it's the really money shop ones or the transitions one. Here, I just put a lot of flowers, a lot of plants, a lot of sparkles, a lot of lights. I really recommend to do some panels like that because it brings your chapters up. Another special panel, so this one isn't really transition or a presentation, but it's actually an important action. I really wanted to bring this one up, so yeah, the um, coloring of this one is a bit special. But also the way I drew it, also the way I presented it, also the way I placed it. So keep in mind that some panels need that in order to be impactful. And the last special panel I wanted to share with you guys is this one. It's like an explanation panel. The queen is explaining that Sandra and... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's fun because Sandra in English sounds like Sandra in French, but actually his name is Sandra, which actually means Ash, but yeah. So anyway, the Queen is explaining something about Sandra and, <laughs> and Willow, so it was important for me to kind of picture that and I decided to do it this way. And I recommend to do some panels like that also because, you know, it kind of like explains something but in a pretty way, so just feel free to make art guys <laughs> and so to finish this panel I will let you with just the screen in the speed drawing just a note I decided to make the line work purple for this one So tiny bonus for you guys, please use 3D sometimes if you're struggling. Here I was struggling with the hands, so I just took uh, 3D models, again I will put the link in the description, don't worry. Every link I'm using in this video will be in the description. So as you can see, it's so much easier when I want them to be pretty or it's an important panel. I am using 3D hands, okay? Guys, Clip Studio Paint is offering you 3D, so just use the tools you have. Um, of course, I'm not saying that you will never have to draw hands, okay? One day you will have to learn how to draw hands, but if sometimes you are really struggling with it, just take the tools you have, okay? So let's finish with the title of the chapter and then exporting the chapter. So here I'm just like, it's pretty easy, okay? I just have my base title and just make the title in French 
and in English because again I'm actually translating my webtoon in the two languages just like this I also have dark version of the title but I'm actually thinking about remaking this one sometimes and just put the title in the middle of the chapter to create a transition or I'm just most of the time because my chapters are pretty short I'm just putting my title at the end of it and last but not least, exporting your chapter. Woo, you're finally done. Okay, so it's really, really easy. Click on File, export the webtoon, and choose the settings. Please don't forget to make the size at 50% when you're exporting for a webtoon because if you choose a 1600 pixels wide file, it will be needed to export it at 50% in order to have the good size. For tapas, as you can see, it's 940 pixels wide, so the size is different. If you are like me and actually posting in both languages, like French and English, or I don't know, Italian and English, etc., don't forget to change your languages layers in French to English or in English to French. And that's it, you're done. Thanks for watching this video and please just like and comment because it took me so long to do it. See you next time!